Hey everybody, this is Phil with Authors Insider Club and eBookTemplates101.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can write books that actually will sell. Books that people want to read and people want to buy. And I'm going to show you how you can choose topics for your books, whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction. Now, one of my favorite tools for doing that is Google Trends. There are so many authors and entrepreneurs that make the mistake of writing books and when they decide what they're going to write about, they just kind of pull topics out of thin air. And that's not the best way to do it. You need to do some research so you can see what people are talking about and what they're searching for. And then if you write a book based on those popular topics, you're bound to sell more books and get a lot more press for your books as well. So here's how I use Google Trends. Nobody has more search data in the world than Google. And in Google Trends, they will show us both overall and recently what people are searching for the most. So check this out. We're on Google Trends, and one of the parts that I like the most is this top charts section. So I'm going to click on that. And they have the charts by category of what people are searching for the most. So this data is actually gold and most people do not use it. It's crazy. So let me give you a couple examples. We'll talk about fiction and nonfiction. Let's do nonfiction first. So let's say you're gonna write a book about dogs and you weren't sure what breed to write about. Well, here is the dog breeds chart and we can see exactly which dog breeds get the most searches. We are not guessing, we're not hoping, we can write about the breeds that people are talking about and searching for the most. And when you do that, you give yourself the best chance of selling more books. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that chart and we'll see that overall right now, the Bulldog is the number one most searched for breed in the entire world as of today, October 21st, 2013. So they are number one. They've been in the top 10 for 117 months. And they are the most popular breed in the world in terms of what people are searching for and talking about on Google. And then number two, the Labrador Retriever, and then all the way down the list. And it has, you know, tons and tons of breeds. So if you're going to write a book about dogs, you would probably be smart to write a book about something in the top 10 or 20 searched breeds. You know, if you write a book about the 143rd most searched breed, uh, you're probably not going to get that much traffic and that many purchases of your book. But if you're writing about what people are searching for and talking about the most, you give yourself the best chance to succeed. So that is the most searched option. There's one more option. This is cool too. You definitely want to use this as well. And that is called the trending option. So trending means you know, what are the recent trends, not just overall in a large block of time, but recently what's popular. So if I click on trending, we get a list of dog breeds that are trending. And here's a great example. This Commodore breed here is number one. It's trending number one. It's the number 73 most overall search dog breed. So it's pretty low on the list for overall searches but it's number one for trending. So for whatever reason, people are talking about this breed quite a bit recently. So this would be a great topic if you were gonna write about dog breeds. This might be a great breed to write about because people are talking about this breed right now quite a bit. Now, another thing you can do is find breeds that are on both lists, the trending and the overall. So here's the bulldog. It's trending at, you know, number eight, most uh, talked about breed trending and number one overall. And Labrador Retrievers on both lists as, as well. So if you're writing a book and you choose a dog that's on both the trending list and the overall list, then you're really ahead of the game. So that's a great way to choose a topic. And I'm just using dog breeds as an example. You could do that with any kind of topic. Now I'll show you one other chart that I really like, and this is great for nonfiction, but it could also be perfect for fiction as well. And that is the books topic. So if you're thinking about writing a book, the best way to see what 
types of books that sell are to see what the most searched for books are. So sure enough, we have a books category here. And this is what Google is sharing with us, which is valuable data. It's like gold, like I said, they're showing us the most popular searched for books in the world. And there's lots of great information here. Like here's something interesting. Number 10, as of today, the most popular, the 10th most searched book in the world right now is the 85 ways to tie a tie book, which is very interesting because I wouldn't go out and copy this book or any books here. I wouldn't, you know, you're not doing this to copy these books, but what you're doing this for is to get an idea of the types of books that people are searching for and talking about, you know, or what genre of books, what type of book, what are these storylines if they're fiction, and what are people talking about and interested in so that you can write books that will appeal to the same kind of people that are searching for these books. And just like I showed you with dog breeds, there's also a trending option as well. So if we click on that, we can see what books are trending and most recently talked about more than any other books. So do not discount this tactic because when you're choosing what types of books to write, you put yourself so far ahead of the game when you choose topics that are already popular. So I highly recommend using Google Trends to do that. Now I'm gonna embed this books search into our site. So you can go to ebooktemplates101.com and you can see the link under this video if you're watching this somewhere else. And I'll have that embedded into the site so you can always see the top searched for books in the world. And you can also, of course, always go to google.com slash trends and check that for yourself as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Stay tuned for a lot more videos on how to publish, format, and sell more books and get your message out to the world.